Hi, my name is Christian Pinedo, and I'm a learning facilitator at the TJR Learning Lab in Anaheim, California. In today's 7th Plug video, we're going to take a look at what happens when there's an ocean oil spill. We're going to look at different materials and methods to clean it up, and we're going to find what is the best way to do so. So, let's get started. To put together a simulation, you'll need to gather supplies first. I'm using a large baking pan, three bowls, water, food coloring, vegetable oil, measuring spoons, a stirring stick, cocoa powder, spoons, and dish soap. For some materials to test with, I'm using cotton and feathers. Now if you don't have these exact supplies, feel free to try something at home that works for you. To get everything set up, you're going to fill three bowls with about two cups of water in each of those bowls. Then you're going to add about three drops of food coloring into each of those bowls and mix it into the water until it's fully dispersed. In a cup, measure about half a cup of vegetable oil and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. You're going to mix it all together with a stirring stick. And this is what we're going to use to represent crude oil. You're going to slowly pour the oil into each of the three bowls. This is going to be our simulation of crude oil in the ocean. All right, now you're ready to test. I'm going to put my bowls in a baking pan in case this gets messy. We're going to try and test different techniques to remove the oil. When removing crude oil, the goal is to try and get as much oil as you can without removing too much water. I'm going to have a separate container to try and measure the oil that I'm taking out. The first technique I'm going to try is a common one used in real world situations, skimming the water. I'm going to use a spoon to try and just get that top layer out of the water. Next, I'm going to try and use the cotton to absorb the oil. I'm going to try and stay only on that top layer to avoid absorbing any water. You could also test how different organic materials absorb and react to the oil. I'm trying feathers. The last technique I'll try is to use soap. I'm only going to put a couple drops of soap in the water and gently stir it. You might notice that as you stir, the oil will start to get trapped in the bubbles. This might make it easier to skim the water once you've done this. You might have an idea of what techniques worked well, but make sure you take a look at what you removed from the bowls to see how effective they actually were. Experiments like this are important to conduct because it helps us understand what we should do when dealing with real world oil spills. Crude oil can have a really negative effect on ocean life, so scientists and engineers have to understand its properties to come up with solutions. You might have noticed that when we place the oil in the water, it never actually mixed. It stayed floating on top of the water. This is because oil is less dense than water. And in the ocean, oil will stay on the surface of the water, but it can quickly spread over a large area. Even if it's just a thin layer, it can cause a lot of problems for animals that live in the ocean. Studying how oil affects organic materials can help us understand how to help these animals. Scientists and engineers can conduct tests like this and find the solutions to this problem. Try it for yourself. What do you think was the best method for removing the oil? Did you discover a new method? And could this method be used in the ocean? Thanks for joining me in today's Sun Plug video. I hope you enjoyed creating our simulated oil spill and testing some of the solutions. Be sure to like and share this video, and more videos like this will be coming out soon. Until then, see you next time.